knots, rope work and splicing, um, there are, which are the main three um, areas of knotting. Knots obviously for joining ropes and uh, tying ropes to other objects. Uh, splicing for joining ropes uh, which need to be permanently joined rather than using knots. And the rope work, at the, which is the, uh, the rear of the book, is um, things that people can make for their boats and, and useful articles. It's aimed at everybody. The, our remit was to uh, cover all types of craft, so that would include every, everything from the tall ship down to a jet ski, including uh, narrow boats, of course, and inland water craft and so on. So we looked at all the knots that um, would be commonly used with those. It, it's not a, a, a book about knots that I know, it's a book about knots that people who use the water need to know. Knots in particular, the, the, the knotting side of it, um, you know, people can shout, a, a skipper can shout instructions to you. Uh, but if you don't know how to do a knot, then he can't come and show you. You're on your own. So it's it's essential that particularly crews of uh, sailing boats, in particular, learn all their knots. If I could only teach you one knot, it would be the figure of eight knot, because that can be a stopper knot. It can tie two ropes together. It can act as a loop. So you've got a knot, a, a loop, and, a, and a, a bend, all using one single knot, or a der derivative of one single knot. Okay, the figure of eight knot is normally used as a stopper knot at the end of a, a sheet. Take the working end around the standing part, down through the bight, pull tight, Put it in your hand like that, pull down on the standing part to make a nice firm stopper knot. 